the brown marmorated stink bug is an invasive species that is native to Asia. It was introduced into the United States somewhere between the mid to late 1990s. And um, this insect is incredibly important because it has such a broad host range. It feeds on over 170 different host plants. And unfortunately, that includes many important economic crops, both row crops as well as specialty crops. Over the last couple of years, it's spread across the country at this point, and it's been found officially in 42 states across the United States. It was, I think, 2009, we start seeing it in soybeans. Actually, we were doing work at that time on native stink bugs that were increasing on soybeans, and all of a sudden we see this new species. And in 2010, it really peaked. And in 2011, again, it, it peaked. Actually, I think in 2011, probably 50 to 70 percent of our soybean fields in western and central Maryland were treated. So it was a real problem. We know probably more about it in its native land on soybeans than any other host plant. But we didn't know much about it here. So we uh, were fortunate to get a, a grant from the United Soybean Board, um, funded over three years, to, to look at at the biology on soybeans and how we should manage it. The brown marmorated stink bug is a, a seed feeder. And as we all know, that's the obviously what we are trying to produce, get our yields and um, how we make our livelihood of our soybean producers. So that is the stage that it really causes the most damage. And they first, when they're overwintering, are coming off of trees. And it's not until sometime later in July where we might have movement into corn when it's most attractive. And it's really in August when we see them moving into soybeans in a typical higher level where we should be looking. Now, the other piece that's important is to look at the growth stage. And we talk about R4, maybe late R4 particularly, as being the key time to start looking for them so that you're not missing that initial invasion. What was really important to us is to come up with some kind of um, threshold. A threshold is a decision-making tool that most farmers are used to. Uh, will we have evolutions of the threshold in the future? Possibly, because this is the first go-round. We know that although stink bugs in generalities do start on edges, native stink bugs move through the entire soybean field fairly readily as the season progresses. So it's a full field sampling, but it became evident very quickly that brown marmorated were really tied to the edges of field, which became a really nice way to encourage people to sample, to know that they you know, can walk in um, 10 feet, 20 feet, maximum up to 50 is where we'll see that damage occurring. And so not only does it make sampling very efficient, it makes the potential for limiting treatment very efficient and economic. When this insect first came to this area, there was a lot of concern that we wouldn't have effective materials to work. But it became clear with soybeans that the pyrethroids, the carbamates, the organophosphates, the combinations of the neonic pyrethroids all work very well. And if you scout well, get out there and time it well, one single application will work very well. And this insect is a very, has a very strong edge effect so it doesn't go very far into the field. That part of the field remains green where the rest of the field senesces, drops all its leaves, and the farmers are ready to go out there and harvest it. They can't harvest around the edges, maybe in as far as 100 feet. And even though it's not a major portion of the field, it, it, if when you add up all that area, it's quite significant. So our recommendation to farmers is when they have a problem, they will spray just the outer 90 feet. If you time it right, you don't want to go in there too early, but if you time it right, one application will take care of the problem. We've answered a lot of the questions. We've got a good handle now on its biology, a good handle on how to, how to manage it in soybeans. Uh, and the farmers, I think, know enough about it now that they can handle it if it shows up. Hopefully it won't.